For the rate of return analysis, think about it as your favorite sports playoffs. Okay, so in the previous iteration or in the previous competition, okay, we eliminated do nothing. So now the survivor, which is alternative four, let me write it down, will be compared against alternative two. And we will be following exactly the same procedure. So we need to fill out our um, incremental cash flow table for these two alternatives. Alternative four is the one with the least investment, so it will be alternative A. And alternative two will be alternative B because of the higher, higher investment. Kay. So we continue to have equal lives that's a good thing. So we're going to do the short version of the table. Then again, you may refer to example four from chapter six um, if you want to go back to the procedure and the rules. So here we have year zero and years one through four. Okay, and then just note here again that this is for equal lives. Okay, and we copy the cash flow. So for alternative four, we have minus 20,000. Then these are both A's, so we must put them together. Minus 21,000 plus 29,000. That's a two. Will give us 8,000. And for alternative two, we have minus 50,000. And then our two A's, which is minus... 26,000 plus 43,000 giving us 17 K then we get the the difference between the two remember we keep this negative so we may have double negatives at some point the first one is going to be minus 50,000 minus minus 20,000 oops 20,000 giving us minus 30,000 and then the next one it's going to be 17,000 minus 8,000 giving us positive 9,000 okay so these two are the values that we will be using in the next step we can say that since this occurs in year zero this will be RP and this one occurs every year from years one through four, this will be our A. Okay, so now we need to set up our present worth equation using these two values. It's gonna be minus 30,000, it's already in P, so no need for conversion factors, plus 9,000, find P given A at delta I star for four years. I'm not going to go over the entire trial and error and interpolation, but if you want to try it out for this step, trial and error and interpolation, and again for the trial and error you may pick any numbers that you want as long as you find a positive and a negative result and you may, may go back to part one of this example uh, and to follow the formulas and everything for the interpolation and you should find delta I star equal to 7.7 percent okay so this is the answer that we're looking for and then we're going to compare this seven 0.7% to the minimum attractive rate of return that's given which is 12% for the minimum attractive rate of return and in this case it is going to be less so according to the rules if it's less than then we must eliminate alternative 2 or alternative B 
and alternative 4 or alternative A in our case is a survivor. Okay. So we have eliminated another uh, alternative so now we keep alternative 4 and we get rid of alternative 2. So this means that in our next match or in our next competition, iteration, however you want to call it, alternative 4 will now be going against alternative 1. So now let me just put right here that uh, we must compare the survivor with next alternative, okay, which in this case would be alternative 4 against alternative 1. Okay. And let's do that real quick because it's a, a very uh, similar process. So let me just uh, copy the incremental cash flow tables. So in this case, oh, let me change this. We're going to change this one to alternative 1. Because we keep alternative 4. Okay, so again, these two, 4 and 1, they have equal lives. So we can continue to do the short versions of the table. So we're going to have year 0 and years 1 through 4. And again, just the side note saying that this is for equal lives. Okay. And I just copy the cash flows. Uh, so alternative 4, it's minus 20,000. Okay. And then the two A's are minus 21,000 plus 29,000, giving us a total of 8,000. Alternative 1, it's minus 80. And the A's are minus 28,000 plus 61, giving us a result of 33,000. Then we get the difference between the two. Minus 80 minus minus 20, which is minus 60,000. And then here would be 33 minus 8 giving us a total of 25,000. And again, these are the values that we need for our present work relation. If it's in year zero, that means that this would be RP. And if it's every year, this would be RA. We set up the present worth equation, okay, just like this one right here present worth would be equal to minus 60,000 already in P plus 25,000 fine P given A at delta I star for four years. Kay. I'm going to again skip the step for the trial and error and interpolation you will get 24.1 percent and again this is a value that we need and we're going to compare the 24.1 percent to the given 12 percent minimum attractive rate of return and in our case it is greater so according to the rules, we eliminate alternative 4 and alternative 1 will be the survivor. Okay, so now we go up here and we're going to be crossing out alternative 